Over the last few months, we've been loving our bass fishing. The springtime is pretty much awesome everywhere in Southern California, but we've been spending a lot of time three hours north of Orange County at a lovely spot called Lake Kachuma. Not only is the bass fishing fantastic, the camping at the lake is epic if you've got a few days to hang out. The big bonus of this show is we're going fishing with a local guide that grew up and fished this lake his entire life. His name is Jonathan Davis and he goes by Johnny. So pay attention newbies and take notes. You might just learn some new tactics bass fishing. <laughs> yes! Oh, it feels so good. If you've never done that, I really recommend you do it. It's dope, baby. Stoked on fishing. <laughs> Stoked on fishing is brought to you by Integrative Marine Systems, Southern California's premier boat and yacht upgrade provider, and by Akuma Fishing Tackle, a global leader in the design and manufacturing of high-quality fishing tackle, and by El Dorado Sport Fishing, 85 feet of deck space for fishermen who want to have some fun in the sun, and by Fishing No Sorrow, Costa Rica's best kept fishing secret, and by Fish Lab Lures, meticulously crafted and designed for one purpose, to catch fish, and by Ricante Hot Sauce, radical blends of fruits and vegetables from the lands of Costa Rica since 2000. What's your Pura Vita? All right, style of fishing we're going to start off with. What, do, what are we thinking? Well, since it's nice and calm this morning, we're definitely going to fish a Cinco, something subtle. And then um, as you know, we get some breeze, definitely look for a reaction bite. I think a jig, a Cinco right now, I think that's what we're going to start out with, off with. A shad is, is a major uh, bait fish in this lake. I mean, that's what they're feeding on. It's either it's either shad or crawdads. Those bigger bass, you know, they're definitely going to eat some trout, eat some bluegill. You know, you guys got some big bass in here, right? We do. The Any lake new... record's 16 pounds. Good lord. Yeah. What about uh, some big smallies? Big smallies. Yeah. And I think my biggest smallie here is like four on chatterbait. Yeah. Oh, Ryan likes his chatterbait. Oh, I love a chatterbait. Yeah. If yeah. it gets windy, we'll throw a chatterbait around. Beautiful morning, and I really, I'm really feeling the cinco this morning. What is our weather doing the next few days? It's just getting warmer. Not doing nothing but getting better and working oh, in man. our favor. Okay. Yeah. It nice. was a little dewy this morning rather yeah. than frosty. Yeah. And you know when it's getting dewy in the spring, you know they're going to bite. What was it? Cool. I'm going to show you guys a little trip, a trick with my Cinco. You know, normally I'd wacky rig it, you know, but it's so sticky here. There's so many sticks. You're just going to lose it if you do. So I'm going to Texas rig it. But before I do that, you know, you've got a Cinco here. If you pull it on it and stretch it and get some of that salt to release and give it a good stretch like that, I mean, see the action that thing's got now? It's so much limber than it was when it first start, came out of the package. I mean, that thing is twice as soft. I can see know? it already. So you're just going to get a better little wiggle after, if you give it that initial stretch. Old old timer taught me that. So that's just, a, that's just a little trick. Yeah, a little trick. So you're Texas rigging And I'm just Texas rigging it on a 2.0 Gamagatsu. And any, anything with an exposed hook up here right now, it's going to get hung Trouble. up too much. Okay. You know? And uh, they're biting the Texas rig just fine. Yeah, and people, people get lazy when they put on their baits and they just kind of stick it on there and it's all crooked. And, you know, the fish fish catch on to that. They're smart. You got to cover that hook. Cover it hook. Cover it up. My finger goes right over the top of it, weedless, and it's straight as an arrow. I mean, that's what they want. What pound, uh, this is what eight, do you got going? This is eight pound fluoro okay. with a 15 pound br uh, braid on, okay. my, on my main line and then probably about a 15 foot leader. It's really clear here, number one, yeah. but I don't like to redo my leaders every three hours or, you know, if you cut it. I like to you know, fish all day on one leader yeah. if I can. So what type of knot do you do? Uh, I do an RP knot. I like to start way back. You know, I shut my motor off way back there, and I like to come in on my trolling motor. It's a little stealthier, you know? You gotta play the game. Yeah. And these fish are smart, you know, people... The people are really good at fishing, and they spend a lot of money to do it, and all this fancy tackle we have, and the fish get used to it. They get used to getting, you know, hooked in the mouth. And so every, every little advantage you can give yourself will definitely help, you know? Look at this war zone over here. Oh Isn't man, you fishy? got your chunk rock coming in. Oh <laughs> lord. We got a point. Yeah. Uh, another point. Got freestanding trees. Um, there's some grass growing underneath it. Routine with that thing once it hits the water. I don't waste a lot of time with it. 
90% uh, of your bites on a Cinco always come on the fall. So, uh -huh. you know, that's for me anyway. I mean, I think that is for most people. But uh, I cast it out. I let it sink. It probably falls a foot a second. It's 10 feet deep up there. Um, I really like to just let it sit, you okay. know, for... I, l I really let it sit. You know, I'm really patient with I'm it. I'm noticing that. I'll let it get to the bottom. I'll pull it once or twice just to feel if I feel pressure. He's either there or he's not. I might let it sit another couple seconds, and I reel it in and I do it again. Okay. You know, I don't waste a lot of time. I, I get myself in an area where I know it's productive. I know there's fish, hopefully, in these bushes. You know, I think there is. And so I don't want to waste a lot of time with it. Um, they, mm -hmm. that, that wiggle as it falls, I mean, that's what they're, you know, that's what they want. Get it in a high percentage area and let it do the work yourself. You know, basically do nothing. You know, the, the I like better, the sound of that. The, <laughs> <laughs> the more you mess with it, uh, you know, I have clients and they'll, you know, they want to feel it. You know, that's the thing. They want to feel that fish. And so they keep their line too tight. They'll, you know, they'll keep a little angle on it oh, and, you know yeah. i always tell them you know open your bail and really let that thing just do it the work itself you know patience yeah it's one thing with bass fishing we see so many guys they just oh there's one right there oh it's a good one too look at this one yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. charging the boat i don't know if yeah i don't know if he's that big but he's grumpy it's early oh that's not bad right right Game and boom. I told you I was gonna get you one, Dix. Yeah. Yeah. Dixie! Wow. Little Kachuma largemouth. Yeah. That's how it's done. <laughs> yeah, man, that was, like that. that was fun. That was fun. That was perfect. Could have worked out better, huh? He's hooked good. He definitely wanted it. Yeah. Beautiful fish. Yeah. They are pretty up here. Starting out. That was great. Go fast. Okay. Right on. Mm-hmm. 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 Let's do that like 25 times today. Okay, that's, that's easy enough. <laughs> we can do that. Got him? Uh, oh. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> nice, bud. Yeah, there we go. You know the Ica eventually had to work. Come on now. That's a nice fight on that tip though, huh? Yeah, it is. That's with the braid? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a braid setup. Yeah. You ready? Come Papa. Maybe. I'll gobble on the Ica. <laughs> oh, he's peeing all over the place. Oh, oh, just peed on Dixie. Thanks, buddy. Nice. Good job, dude. One of the books. Yes. Good morning. Good job. Yeah. Okay, Ryan. That's a bite. Oh. Up. Ooh. Nice fish, too. Pretty. Good boy, Ryan. Oh, oh, Dixie just got a kiss in the air. Oh, double, 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 double. Oh, yeah. Here he's coming up. Oh yeah, out in the depths. Nice, Ryan. Nice, yeah. Chad, and he just got bit on the spinner bag right now. All right, nice. Oh, okay, nice. Sweet, dude. That is fun. Thank you very much, Bessie. A little closer, and there we go right there. Okay, cool. Okay. Instant two. Cheers. <laughs> nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. Job, there you go. Oh boy. And it hopped it over, and it, I felt it drop, and then it felt like the head of the shaky head hit like a hard rock, but it was actually the fish going tick. And then I was like, oh, I just reeled down. It was my pole was loaded. Let's see. Yeah, a little morsel. Nice, that's one of your new worms, huh? Yeah. What is that, a fat? It's just a little zoom, uh, small trick worm, a little, little magnum trick worm. Yeah, nice. On the shaky head. Well, I'm watching the bird. There it is, Shad. See, he's got Shad in his mouth. Oh, yeah, that's why I pulled out the blade. 
yeah, they're basically, it seems like they're right off this edge. That was rad. They basically came up with the shad and then boom, you got cracked. We're gonna try to get a big one. I got this brand new scale in there. So oh, I I'd really, I'd really like to use it. Okay, yeah. you haven't used it yet? I haven't used it yet. Oh, no. all right. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, at Stoked on Fishing, for daily photos, videos, trip updates, and much, much more. Fun, man. It's just fun Absolutely. to get bit, dude. It's so fun to get bit. This is the time of year, you know. They're gonna start really biting. Good. I think that about the same as the other one, huh? Just stick it. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay. Later, buddy. Throw up. Okay. Get a lot of slack out. So can... Yeah, that's wicked bait. Oh yeah. You don't want to mess wow. with Wow. say people get carried away with, with the colors. There's a lot of them out there, you know? And uh, get two or three colors that you have confidence in. You know, get, get a green pumpkin, get a shad, and then, you know, maybe, maybe a, something dark like a black and blue. And uh, build some confidence with those, you know, natural, like, st old school colors. Start there, and um, you'll find that you, you, you buy all this stuff. You know, I have so much tackle. And I always go back to the, you know, baby bass Cinco, <laughs> green pumpkin Cinco, purple robo worm. All these rods on the deck, all this fancy gear, expensive tackle. And what do my clients catch most of their fish on? Drop shotting a robo worm. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just hard to beat. Yeah. Well, I, I like to say that we actually are the fish biting on the lures. Yeah, absolutely. I agree 100%. The, the, the tables are turned. Yeah, yeah. And they, <laughs> he just sat on himself. I love it. Bass. Eat it. Good. Max Falls. Absolutely not true. Allegedly. Yeah, yeah. There's a bite. One was off the beach a little ways. Was it? Ooh. Ooh, is he running on you a little, a little bit? better fish, I yeah. think. Yeah, it is a better fish. Not much better. Oh, Smalley? Smalley, that's oh, why. Smally, yeah, I knew he was grumpy. Nice. Beautiful. Dude, Beautiful small mouth. Yes. Awesome. Isn't that cool? Yeah, yeah there's some water. Beautiful. Bite was a good one that he actually really, you know, crushed it. Crushed it. I'll take my hook back eventually. Nice small dude. Look at those tiger stripes on his face. Look at those orange eyes, man. Aren't they cool? Oh man, that, that was fun. Oh yeah. I thought that was a lot bigger, bigger yeah. fish than it was. Yeah. Nice, Johnny. Nice. Which is nice. That allows me to fish this Ica. Yeah, those weedless Icas, that's a great bait for here because you know, pull it through that yep. stuff, no problem. It's mandatory, yeah, or you're gonna lose some stuff. Yeah, yeah you got it's gotta be weedless. This thing gets bit a lot on the sink too. It does, yeah. Yeah, wind picked up a little bit, it's getting breezy. And so I picked up a spinner bait, I got a bite, and Ryan picked up a lipless and said he was gonna catch one and did right away. <laughs> Yeah. Dixie, watch out, this thing's yeah. full of bugs. Hey, come on. Do you uh, want anything? As far as, uh, no, just, just keep it off the edge, yeah. Nice, Ryan. Nice job.
job, son. Hey, guys. Thanks, Ryan. Hell yeah. I'm gonna get one, guys. Yeah, yeah. He, he called it. it. He called it. He knew it. Yeah. But that's, you know, that's what's cool. It's like, you know, we fish sinkos in the morning, fish low. Now, we're, you know, let's fish some moving baits. Yep. You know, and, and we're probably gonna have a killer afternoon. Yeah. So I'm throwing a, let's see, it's a half ounce spinner bait, 12 pound fluorocarbon. You know, I'm just casting it out, letting it sink all the way to the bottom. I really feel like, you know, a lot of the fish are hanging out down there in, in that in the bush. You know, just because you can't see it, there's still a lot of bush down there. And I'm just slowly coming through it. I mean, this is kind you of- You want to hit it. You want to hit it. Yeah, I want to yeah. bang through it. Yeah. Yeah, I want to surprise the fish, for sure. And that's those reaction bites, like you just mentioned. For sure, yeah. I think it's coming off the bottom, and I'll just open my bail and uh -huh. let it fall back down. You yeah. know, a lot of, lot of bites come on that little fall. Just talking. Oh, 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 he just woke up. Ooh, grumpy. Yes. Talking about getting bit on a reaction bait, you know. I was like, man, I'm took a lot of time, but I'm not getting any bites. And there he is. Yeah, boss. Awesome. Spinner. Right. Yeah, dude. That was worth the wait. We were just talking about it, you know. That's what we want. Yeah, dude. We were just talking about <laughs> seconds ago. Seconds ago, you know, like it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, and you know, you just put your head down, be patient, yep. and you get rewarded. Yep. Nice. Oh, isn't that nice a day. beauty? <laughs> nice day. A little belly on that one. Nice. That's, oh, that's why you kept throwing it. Yeah. Well, you oh, had yeah. a couple bites on it prior. I got some like lookers, but nothing serious, and that one smashed it. So maybe they're getting fired up. All right, not a bad start for the morning. A few fish. Over, the wind picked up a little bit, so we're just gonna move this little corner. Heck yeah. Whee. Nice, Johnny. Heck yeah. That's the ones you want right there, boys. Food. Oh, he stole my worm. That's okay. You can have it. It's worth the exchange. Nice fish. Yeah. Free spawner. Chunk. Chunky monkeys, right? Give me Dixie. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's good TV. <laughs> Dude, nice head on him. Gotcha. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude. That's yeah. the kind you want, huh? Yeah. yeah. That was fun. Look at that. <laughs> Ryan, bigger worm, bigger, yeah. fatter worm. Yeah, I was. I wanted a little. Try to get a bigger, better, better bite. Bigger profile. There you yeah. go. Almost, Let's get a photo of that guy. Real quick. Nice fish, bro. Sweet. Twenty feet, huh? Midday chunk. That was a deeper fish. Yep. Yeah. She's cold. Yeah. Like that water's still, still cold. Yeah. Thank you, darling. Yeah. Chunky. See you, chunky. See ya. Oh yeah, and then I see your peg it, huh? Peg, oh, peg interesting, yeah. interesting. Yeah, it comes through the grass really good, and, and there's no slime catches on it. Wow. <laughs> uh, Sixteen feet. Okay. Oh. On the huddle bug. Nice. Yes, Ryan. That is a nice fish. Woo! On the huddle bug, Ryan! <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's not happy about it one bit. <laughs> awesome. That type of stuff. Okay. Tree pin. It is. Okay, Ryan. So you hooked him in the front. Let me see how you hooked him. Yeah, because that's how naturally a 
crawdad walks. He doesn't okay. walk backwards. When he, only when he panics, flees, he, he, he shoots backwards. So you hop him up and he falls backwards. But I was just creeping him. Bitching. Just creeping him. Bitching. I saw him. Yes. Johnny, one of the things I like most about this lake is uh, it's really a fishing lake. It is. I, I don't know. You know, they kind of planned it that way, I think. Um, but there's no wakeboarding, jet skiing, no swimming. You know, so it's just really quiet and peaceful. Unless you live close or you, you want to have two boats, I mean, it's it's a 30-day in, inspection and quarantine to, to bring your boat in here if it's a bass boat. So it's really easy. You know, if you want to come fish, I supply everything. Uh, all your rods and reels, everything you need for the day, everything except your lunch and your fishing license. All my customers, a lot of them already have bass boats at other lakes, you know, but they uh -huh. they can't bring them here. Uh -huh. And so they'd rather just show up and fish, you know, for the day. Yep. Makes it easy, makes it, it very, very it, easy. It, it, it's super easy. Uh, JonathanDavisFishing.com okay. or just give me a call, 805-478-4935 and uh, we can book your trip. You and this, this is a great time of year to this March, April. I mean, that's why you guys are up here. All the way through fall, it, it's you know, it, good it, fishing. It is, it really is. It's a really healthy lake. It's on an upswing, you know, from the, the drought seven, eight years ago, yep. you know? So it's just, it's just getting better and better. As I hear an eagle screaming in the background, yeah. Oh, cool. And one thing I'd like to point out is the camping up here is absolutely superb. It's beautiful and it's right on the lake. Uh, the facilities are, are first class and uh, it's great for families uh, and friends and just good times. So we're up here for four days camping and that was our whole game plan. You know, fishing with Johnny. He's uh, our buddy from Alaska, so that's how we met him. And turns out he likes to bass fish. So we love our bass fishing. Stoked on Fishing is brought to you by Integrative Marine Systems, Southern California's premier boat and yacht upgrade provider, and by Akuma Fishing Tackle, a global leader in the design and manufacturing of high-quality fishing tackle, and by El Dorado Sport Fishing, 85 feet of deck space for fishermen who want to have some fun in the sun, and by Fishing No Sorrow, Costa Rica's best-kept fishing secret, and by Fish Lab Lures, meticulously crafted and designed for one purpose, to catch fish, and by Ricante Hot Sauce, radical blends of fruits and vegetables from the lands of Costa Rica since 2011. What's your Pura Vida?